Yeah, so we came on the site here and we recommended uh, uh, that we uh, install a, a back grate culvert. And, and the back grate culvert, as you see, uh, is just a culvert that has a grate um, inside of it so that it prohibits you and I from crawling in there. Um, but it lets the critters that are inside that the field office specialists have told us about that they wanted to protect their habitat. It lets them have ingress and egress. Um, this, this here is what we call a back grate culvert type of remediation of the physical safety hazard here. Um, and so in that case is when they, when they become highly weathered, uh, um, it's very common to get collapse and rocks falling in that zone of weathering. And that zone of weathering, um, how deep it goes into the mountainside is dependent on the rock type and the, the type of weather uh, that an area has and whatnot. But in this case, it went back in there about 10 feet or so. And so um, we determined that we needed to put, to hold that open, um, we needed to put a 20 foot stick of culvert in there. And so this culvert goes back in 20 feet. Mm -hmm. And then on the front of it here is where we affixed the, the bat grate. What we say the most important part of this uh, uh, 10 page inventory uh, field checklist that he does is the sketch map. And that, that's how a geologist maps a mine site right there. And what, what's shown on there, as you can see, here's the road uh, that we drove up here. And there's the guzzler right there that behind the fence. And then, so he maps, he maps things that may not be associated with the Havana Mineland site to help you or I get our bearings when we come to the site. 